again. So it is lunchtime. I have not been able to vlog this morning because we have had a very busy morning. It's gone pretty good. My kids came in this morning. They got started on their morning work. We had a um, Thanksgiving word find for them to do this morning and they always seem to work harder and quieter when they have something fun like that. So they worked on that and then we did our lip block rotations and I did all four today because our small group time was canceled and so I wanted to be able to get through all four rotations. I progress monitored, that went well. I only have a few more kids left and that's good because I just have one more day this week since we're out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We did the lip block rotations, I did my progress monitoring and then we worked on our Scholastic News because we're still not finished with that. And then at 10 o'clock today we went down into the auditorium to practice our songs for a program that we're going to put together for parents coming up in December. It's December the 7th. And so they're going to be singing Christmas songs and holiday songs because we're going to do our program on holidays around the world. So each of the four second grade classrooms are going to take one holiday, read a poem about it, and sing some songs. So we went in there this morning and practiced that. And it went pretty good. There's a few songs I need a little extra help on. So we're going to make signs for those. And then we came back to the room and I read another chapter in our Junie B book that we're reading. It is hilarious, y'all. My kids love this book. And now they are at lunch. So while they are gone, I am going to get ready for our science lesson today. We are still doing matter. And so today they're going to observe an Alka-Seltzer, like an effervescent tablet. They're going to observe it right words to describe it and then they're going to put it in the water and they're going to watch it turn into a liquid because it'll dissolve and then they have a recording sheet to work on with that and this is the recording sheet so three words to describe the solid three words to describe the liquid they have to put the solid in the liquid and draw what they see and then they have to tell what changed so I'm going to run my copies of this I already have the tablets, the Alka-Seltzer, and the cups, so I just have to get water and then we'll have everything we need. And they have music today, so they'll be going to music in a little while, so I will check back in with you guys when they go to music. So here's our new pencil sharpener, I just emptied it. It's going pretty smoothly so far, my kids all wanted to sharpen their pencils this morning and one of my students accidentally pulled this off because she wasn't paying attention I guess when I was going over how to do it because there's a you know there's a you have to pull this out pinch this put your pencil in turn it all that and um she just wasn't listening when I was going over it so that little thing came off and I think it scared her but I was able to get it back on so I'm gonna go eat some lunch and I'll see you guys in a little while C-L-E-A-R. E-A-R. So you have three words, round, small, and light. And what do you have? Hard, powder, powder, and round. And round. Good words. Do you have some describing words for the tablet? What'd you say? Hard. That's a good word. Stinky. Stinky? That's what we smell a bit. I didn't. I don't think it smells stinky. It you think it smells good. stinky? Well, what's it's, that last word? It smelled stinky well. Though. Round? Yeah. Okay. How do you spell round? R O U N D. R O U N D. D. What words did you say? Are these food? White. Okay, let's think of another word to describe the solid. Like, what shape or what color? Or... Round. Yeah, round is good. Oh, Did you do the three words? So put the tablet in the water and then draw what you see. Put it in there and draw what you see. No, let me do it. Use your senses. Wait, listen to it. You got to your ear down there here. Do you hear anything? Oh my goodness. It bubbles. It pops. Bubbling. Ooh, you hear bubbles? Oh, it's in there? It's gone now. It's gone. 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 It's g
So put the solid in your liquid and draw what you see. Draw what you saw before it was all gone. What was it doing? What did it look like? Where's your tablet? On oh, my hair. Okay. Yeah, the water's cold. It's clear. Clear? Mm. How do you spell that? It's bubbling. Here, we have to draw a picture before it Yeah, draw a picture before it goes away. So, my team decided we were not going to meet today. We're going to meet tomorrow instead because we have to plan. We want to go in the auditorium next week to practice for our program. So, we're actually not going to meet today. But we just finished up with our science. And my kids, y'all, my kids were so good. I only had to get on to two boys one time. And they didn't spill anything. And they were able to use their senses. So, it was an effervescent tablet. When you drop it in the water, it starts to bubble, and then the gas, there's gases that come out of it. So I told them to listen and smell and look and use their senses, except taste. I told them not to taste. Then they had to record what happened, and they did so good. I'm so proud of them. I, I'm just so proud of them. So now I'm going to work on getting their homework folders ready for next week. I'm not going to do homework this week since we only have two days. And I need to work on some STEM lab groups, changing those around because we're starting a new challenge next week. And a few things to get ready for next week as well. So that is what I'm going to do. My room is pretty clean for the most part. That bookshelf has some stuff on it over there. My counter's got a little bit right there. <clears throat> and my table. I'll see y'all in a little while. Uh oh. Uh -huh. He called my one. That's cool. Oh my goodness. My kids were wild this afternoon. We were doing fraction flags, talking about one half, one third, and one fourth. They were just loud. I had a group of girls that were arguing about something that happened at playtime, which was preventing them from getting their work done. I had a little girl, another little girl who said her mom put mayonnaise in her hair last night because she couldn't afford to buy lice treatment, but she doesn't have lice, so I'm not sure. But she was complaining about it itching. And then I had kids complaining about their stomachs hurting and wanting to get water. And oh my goodness, it was just crazy. But we made it through. I just took car riders into the auditorium so they can go home. And now it is 2.35. So I'm going to work on getting some things ready for tomorrow and next week. I need to lay morning work out. And I need to work on changing my groups for STEM lab. I haven't done that yet. I did, however finish their um, calendars for their baggy books for the next three weeks after we get back from break. So that is good and done. And I was going to do making ice cream tomorrow for Matter, but I think I'm going to do making butter instead just because it takes less ingredients and they're already crazy because there's only two days of school this week. So I'm thinking butter might be a little more calm than ice cream. But look at my green basket. Yeah, that's all completed work. And it's a mess. So I've got to go through that, sort it, and then grade. I don't know if I'm going to send Friday folders home tomorrow. I think I might just wait and not send anything until the following week. I've got some things I need to do, but I will catch up with y'all in a little while.
to go to the chiropractor at 4.30 today. I have to be there at 4.30 and it's 10 minutes till 4. So I got a few papers graded. I worked on a creating a paper. Let's see. Um, right here. So I worked on creating this paper. We are going to make butter tomorrow for our matter unit that we're doing right now. So I created this, let's make butter. It's got a place for the materials, steps, and then they have to draw the change that happens in the jar. And then this little sentence here where they have to fill in the blanks. So it goes perfectly with our learning target. So I worked on doing that and then I laid out some morning work and I packed my bag. So here's my bag. I'm taking home my morning meeting book because I need to pick a morning meeting idea for tomorrow. I have some papers in here to grade. I have my STEM lab stuff, my list, and then these are letters that my students wrote that I need to put the address on and get ready to mail. Paisley's upstairs with her friend in a third grade classroom right now just playing, so I'm going to call up there and get her and we are going to head on out. We made this chart today for fractions. It's not very neat because I made it really quickly but they're learning halves, thirds, and fourths like one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth and then tomorrow we're gonna do one where I color more than one part of the flag the same color and then they'll have to tell me like if it's two fourths or three fourths or two thirds or three-fourths. I think I just said that. But they're doing pretty good on it. I'll see y'all when I get home. and I had to go to the chiropractor after work today as you saw in the video Paisley was filming uh, we left there and came on home and I started dinner I'm doing popcorn chicken and shells and cheese tonight because that was Paisley's request and it's quick and easy and I'm not gonna say no to that she's in the shower right now and I just wanted to jump on here real quick and end this vlog thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel if you already have subscribed and if you're new to my channel and you like these videos and you'd like to see more videos from me at school with my kids and kind of my daily daily thing what I do at school then subscribe to my channel and also click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know you like this video Tomorrow is Tuesday, and it is the last day of school this week, so I will be filming tomorrow, and I think I'm going to try to do, like, a tag video or a five best classroom management tips video, so comment down below and let me know which one of those you would like to see, and I will try to get that ready for you guys over Thanksgiving break because I am out Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of this week, plus the weekend. So just let me know down below, and thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.